God bless you, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, everybody. God bless you. I don't be on here for a while because I don't come, come on here to preach because of what the Lord has put in my spirit, what the Lord has said to me. I don't come here to preach, but I just here to encourage us I'm not here to preach or anything God has speak to me and let me do what I have to do amen so maybe that's why you guys don't hear me and hear preaching I know you guys will be looking looking for a word or so but nevertheless God deserves the praise and he deserved the honor and tonight I just feel to talk to us and encourage us. Amen. Glory to God. But until then rejoice carry on until the day. God calls me home, but until then, future I carry on, until the day God calls me home. But until then, we joy I go on singing until the day God calls me home. Bless the Lord, everybody. As I said, that tonight I am not here to preach. I am not here to preach or prophesy to anybody. Amen. We give honor to God for what he has done. I am not here to preach or prophesy to anybody. I'm just here to encourage us for maybe a few moments or so that I have or so and talk to us tonight. That's all I keep on here to do tonight. I'm not here to preach or prophesy to anyone. I'm just here to encourage us. Amen. We are living in a time where many things are happening and we are now living in the last day. The Bible says that in the last days that many shall Turn the heels from the truth. Many shall give up on the faith. But tonight, somebody may be in a deep situation tonight and you're wondering where is God? Are you thinking about what is happening around you? But I want to tell you tonight, just be focused because it's not for you to worry what is happening around you. You see, the songwriter said that I just, it says, until then, that God calls me home. One of these days, God will call you home. My God, we live in a time where people refuse to give their life to the Lord. You cannot be worrying about what is happening around you because you see what's happening now. Now, we live in a time where everybody get prophecy from God these days. And anybody know, know hearing from God. 
Everybody know it's a deacon. Everybody know it's a prophetess. Everybody is a minister. The Bible say he gave some deacon, minister, evangelist, you name it. May the Lord bless you, Andrew. But Andrew, may the Lord bless you. You see, you may be going through your storm. And the only thing God wants you to do tonight, praise God, is to speak to your storm. Is to calm that situation in your life. God wanted to speak to that mountain. Praise God. So God wants you to speak to that situation. In the book of St. John 14 verse 1. The Bible say that God, that Jesus said to his disciples. Let not your heart be troubled. Praise God. That was our encouragement he gave to his disciples before he leave. He said, let not your heart be troubled. I know some of your heart may be troubled tonight because of the coronavirus. Some of your heart may be, may be troubled because of the rain that is falling. Some of you may be troubled because of the pain that you're feeling right now. Some of you may be troubled on the inside. But Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. And if Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled, you should not fear anything. Amen, somebody. So Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. We should not fear if Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. We should not worry about the mountain and the sea. Praise God. If Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. We should not worry about the situation that we're facing. Because Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. It's not you to worry about the situation. You cannot solve the situation. Jesus said, let not your heart. Some of you may be crying because you lost a loved one. I know it may be hard to lose a loved one. My God. But Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Praise God. There's no money in the pocket. But Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. And if you're troubled tonight, Jesus is encouraging you tonight to let not your heart be troubled. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, be still and know that I am God. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. And if I am troubled because of this storm, how is am I going to get out of my storm if God said, let not your heart be troubled? Praise God. Amen. God bless you, Sister Lynn. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. You see, yes, we cry about the situation. It's okay to cry. It's okay to mourn. But remember that Jesus says, glory to God, let not your heart be in trouble. Praise God. I know the burden and you cry sometimes. Sometimes you may be questioning God. I you say, where is God? Because if God be for me, who can be against me? You see, Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Some of you are troubled tonight. But Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Problem in the marriage. Problem at the work job. God, problem at church. Everywhere God is problem. And Jesus 
just simply say, let not your heart be a trouble. I don't know I'm encouraging tonight. But Jesus is saying tonight, let not your heart be trouble. Because what you pray about, I am working on it. Because what you pray about, God already solved the problem. And he already told you, let not your heart be trouble. Or something. Fix the situation by ourselves. Praise God. Sometimes we are trying to find a solution for our situation. And even though God is saying, be still and know that I am God. But what we are doing, we are trying to solve the situation. There's no fault in the house. But God, I will trust you. Come on, somebody. I lost my job, but God, I will trust you until that. What will I do? Mm. Jesus, let not your heart be a trouble. Some of us are in trouble tonight. We are in trouble when we can't find the money to pay the bills. Talk to me, somebody. We are trouble when we can't find food to give to the kids. My God. We are trouble when we lost our job. We are trouble when wife is giving problem. Talk to me, somebody. We are trouble when husband is giving problem. We are trouble when kids give him problem. We are trouble when the bills are high. We are trouble when supervisors are giving me trouble at work. But Jesus is letting us all be trouble tonight. Jesus is letting us all you be trouble. Rabbi Shanda. Some of us are trouble. Jesus said in verse 2, he says, in verse 2 of St. John 14, Jesus says, In my father's house are many mansions. And it's God going to say, If it were not so, that I will have told you, glory to God, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, what he says, he said that I will come again and receive you unto myself. So in other words, Jesus said, I go to prepare that mansion. So do not fear. Let not your heart be trouble. Rabba Bashaya. We are trouble tonight and we keep crying over the star. We keep crying over the situation. And the doctor gave upon you. And you are troubled. But if why should I trouble when my God is in control? My God is a deliverer. My God is a healer. My God. My God is a provider. My God is a God told Moses on the burning bosom. God said, Moses, I am that I am. My God, my God. Why should I trouble when my God is in control? Why should I worry about the coronavirus when Jesus is in control? Why should I worry about this pandemic? What God said, let not your heart be in trouble. Rabbi Shai. Why should I worry about what the government is doing to the land? When God said, let not your heart be in trouble. Some of us are complaining about the rain. 
Ah, my God is in control. I'm not worried about the rain that just born. Let the Lord fall the rain, my God. I'm not worried about the situation. I'm not worried, my God is in control. We are worried to God, the rain is falling. God, the rain is falling. When the rain is going to stop fall, when are we going to see the sun? Let the Lord fall the rain. My God is in control. And if he fall the rain, he can stop the rain. If he send the sun, he can stop the sun. If he shine the moon, he can stop the light. Rebel no shine. My God is in control, so I should not fear. Because Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. I'm encouraging somebody tonight. They were once before this rain started to fall. Before this rain started, once I gave a prophecy. And the prophecy that I gave was, I said, the Lord said, a storm is coming to the land of Jamaica. And we, we must prepare ourselves. I described what will happen when the rain began to fall. But it seemed as if nobody take heed. So, why are we complaining about the rain? Let the Lord fall the rain. If you fall the rain, you can stop the rain. Don't matter how many rain are falling on the land of Jamaica today. He can stop the rain. Because God's I God is in control. I control the whole entire universe. I created the heaven and the earth. I cre he created all things. Tonight, tonight, glory to God. Jesus is saying, let not your heart be troubled. Be encouraged tonight. Let not your heart be troubled. A lot of us are trouble. A lot of us are trouble tonight. Lord, help me not to trouble about the star. Come on, somebody, encourage yourself in the Lord. Lord, help me not to grumble or complain. Come on, somebody, encourage yourself tonight in the Lord. Lord, help me not to trouble. Help me not to trouble. Come on, somebody. I'm not here to stay long. I'm not here to preach. But I'm encouraging you. Lord, help me not to trouble. My God is in control. He is in control. Shaya Baba Sata. Do not worry about the storm. You may grow up in pain, but remember one day everything shall be okay. My God. And I find rest in the eyes of the storm. And I find shelter. Come on, somebody. And I find shelter in the arms of the storm. Encourage yourself in the Lord tonight. I encourage you tonight. Let not your heart be troubled. My encouragement to us tonight is let not your heart be troubled. 
Let not your heart be troubled. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May the peace of the Lord be with you. God bless you. Please to share this live to somebody who need encouragement. Share to somebody who need encouragement. Share this live video to somebody who need encouragement. Somebody who is struggling with a situation. Somebody's burning down tonight or you know of. Or uh, call somebody tonight and encourage them. Call a brother tonight and encourage him. Call our sister tonight and encourage him. If you, if you can, call someone tonight and pray with them. Encourage them. Let them know God is in control of this situation. Come on. Go ahead. You can do that. Amen. Encourage somebody tonight. Call someone and encourage them tonight. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. I love you all. The love of God. God bless you. Peace of the lovely night in the Lord. Sleep well. Love you. Peace. Shalom.